must be Felipe. Yeah. Good morning. Como está? Uh, bien. Why is talking Spanish to me? Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Make you feel comfortable. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi. My name is Felipe. Right? Yeah. Okay. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, Felipe, how are you today? Uh, fine. That's good to hear. Yes. As you're aware, we wanted to take a moment to thank you for coming in to uh, share your knowledge, your expertise, and as well as getting an opportunity to clearly uh, demonstrate as well as communicate uh, your skills and abilities. And uh, at the end of the interview, we're going to allow you some time to ask us any questions that you may have so you are quite comfortable and fully knowledgeable of the position that we're currently recruiting for. And we're going to probably start off um, by asking you to tell us a little bit about yourself, Philippe. As you know, we, we, read, about, we read about you in paper format, but we're more interested in hearing from you in your own words to, by telling us something about yourself. Okay. Um, so I guess it's no surprise for, for you that I'm a computer science student. Uh, I've been interested in computers for a long time, and I decided to start my career earlier by entering some courses. Uh, it was involving it was involving uh, computer management and uh, networking, which involves creating LANs, WANs, and managing networks, dealing with the hardware related to it. Uh, I got really into the information technology by the time, and when I entered university, I was fully aware of the area. So right now, I'm job ready for any position uh, I can take. You know. When you mention you're job ready, what does that mean? Uh, I already have the knowledge and the means to do uh, the position I'm applying for. Okay. And let's talk about your knowledge. Uh, it involves not only uh, computer hardware, uh, but also certain programs uh, and networking, creating lands, uh, and those uh, important uh, devices uh, for networks such as hubs and the main server, the computer master, as maybe people say. Uh, what about applications? You talk uh, about hardware here now, so what about yes. software? On uh, application, we actually deal with many uh, applications, different, but we usually use the operational system, which already comes with the networking uh, applications necessary for the uh, for the creation of a LAN. So, for example, um, since Windows 98, they already came with uh, as a part of the OS dedicated to networking. They even had this uh, specific uh, operational system for servers, and later on with the XP and Vista 7, they already were fully uh, integrated with the OS, so it's really not uh, necessary to uh, download other applications for networking, which uh, you can already do this by only using the operational system. What are your thoughts on, um, you know, you, you've got some good theoretical knowledge, you've got both hardware and software, so you obviously can uh, change cards and drives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What would be the advantages of hiring you full-time as opposed to outsourcing it, and just, you know, calling them up and replacing them? Well, uh, having someone in your company, you already have someone dedicated to it that knows the company really well. So they will know about the needs and the main problems about the company. It's not like hiring someone else which comes from outside. They are told so and they will do something. Uh, it may be a appealing for the company, but it's not a good thing if you want dedication and um, a schedule of, of uh, revising it, updating and taking care of the system in the branch. Okay. So how do you prioritize the work that needs to be done in IT? Um, hardware, software issues pop up all the time. Yes. So if the president of the company would phone and say, hey, my PC is not working, mm -hmm. or the security server went down, which one would take priority, and how would you manage completing both? Uh, we first we have to shut down all the connections around the branch so we don't have uh, chances of invasion or mm -hmm. outside uh, dangers. Mm -hmm. 
uh, then we will prioritize, uh, we check the main server, which is the master computer, uh, check if it's properly connected with the other computers in the network. Uh, and then we'll check out the computer which uh, had the problem. So we'll see it, fix the problem, and then we will restart the network again. You realize that our, our organization has a huge network. It's not something one person can do all by itself. Our department currently has about 25 technicians on board because not only do we do it on site, but we also manage it by remote. Yes. So how would you, you know, based on time zones and based on uh, availability, you know this job is 24-7, you're on call. Yes. Have you ever worked uh, in a uh, work as required basis? Have you had to work on anything on call? On call? Uh, no. Okay. But I must say that I already spent many nights doing projects for the university. Mm -hmm. uh, planning, uh, making programs as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I must say that I'm totally ready for uh, being uh, eager to help the company mm -hmm. and the problems with the systems. Are you a stronger in software uh, or in hardware? Um, mostly uh, hardware and the software involving networking, which is the important thing of the IT in the company. But I have uh, a developing knowledge of the software. Okay. So in no time I will be totally experienced and the company may see the, its benefits. Are you f what um, diagnostic software are you familiar with to support the hardware needs? Uh, there's this um, Everlast mm -hmm. uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually check out the networks. Mm -hmm and the problems inside the computer as well. When I asked you about the <coughs> application software, you talked about the older versions of the Windows, Windows-based OS. Yes. Um, does that include Exchange Server? I'm sorry? If, does that include Exchange Server? Um, may you rephrase that? Okay, when I asked you about applications, you were referring to Microsoft only. Yes. OS's, uh, 98, uh, I can't remember which one you said. Uh, yes. Um, but, you know, whatever it is, and up to Vista sort of thing, and Windows 7 and 8 now. So these are operating systems, but in terms of networking, mm -hmm. have you had any experience with Microsoft Exchange Server? Uh, yes, I had a little bit with, uh, during the course that I was doing about networking. Uh, it's not really popular nowadays. Exchange uh, Server? Yes. In business? Sorry? Exchange server, oh, is exchange about, server is about mail. Oh, yes. And in business, it's extremely popular. Mm -hmm. What experience have you had in that? Uh, I'm not quite experienced, but I'll be totally eager to learn about it and help the company if I must do it. Okay. Have you had any experience with SQL Server? Uh, SQL Server? Yeah. Um, no. Ask you. Okay. What about any of the other OSs like Linux? Linux, yes, I have quite a bit of experience with Linux. Okay, can you tell me where specifically? Uh, back in university, there was some free courses of Linux, so I took them as uh, part of the some courses offered by university. Okay, if you had an ideal job, what would you be doing every day? Uh, I would be working, developing, and helping the company to grow as my career as well. Okay, well that's up here now. Give me the give me down on the dirt level. Tell me specifically the tasks you'd be doing. Describe your typical day. My typical day. Um, let's see. Starting from uh, sleeping, uh, waking up. Um, well, you don't have to get that detailed. Yes. When you, when you walk in the door for work, start from there. Um, I go to the office. Uh, talk with the other members in the department. Um, just ask to me for them to update me of the situation right now of the system in the company and do uh, if I already have a task to be done I will go back to it and resume its work uh, if not I will just uh, go for another task and this continues uh, until the end of the day of the task itself it really depends on the situation 
if it's something that really needs to be uh, an emergency or needs to be done right now, or if it's something that really requires a long time. So what I'm hearing you say is that based on the task that's been assigned to you and the severity level that's been assigned to it by your manager or whoever, yes, uh, you would be focusing on resolving that particular uh, issue or instance and trying to resolve it as best as you can based on the criteria that you have at hand. Yes. Then you go home and it starts all over again the next day. Uh, not really. Uh I would stay a little bit more if it's a problem that really needs to be solved right now. And I would really dedicate me, myself to solving and improving the system if it's possible. Because the sooner the better and everyone benefits from it. Give us an example where you had two competing demands being placed on you. What was the, uh, what was the issue? What did you do and what was the outcome? Um, okay, back in university, um, we received two tasks from mm -hmm. different um, subjects. One was to create a, a terminal, and the other one was to create a new service for the police force in my city. Um, I had to prioritize because they had different deadlines. So, but even so, the, the terminal was more important because it requires uh, research and and, uh, and analyzing how we can uh, make it easier for everyone to use, not only uh, normal people, but uh, people with certain difficulties such as blindness and mute, if they are mute. So you have to try and try again until you get the final version of it. And the other one required uh, uh, research as well, but it was more specific. We just had to go to the police red corners and just do some inquiry uh, survey. And then we just had to uh, organize information until we had the result of it, the prototype of mm -hmm. the program. Uh, so we had to prioritize and the terminal was more important than the police terminal or okay. police uh, service. Uh, so I guess my, my question is, did you complete them both? Yes, we completed both, me and my team. Okay. All right. No, I'm done. Do you have any questions of ourselves, Philly? Uh, I am really interested in the position. When can I hear from you? Well, we're as you're aware, we're doing the preliminary evaluations today. Yes. And in fairness to all the candidates that are putting forth their uh, skills and abilities for consideration, It'll probably take us a week to 10 days. Laurie and I will deliberate at the, at the conclusion of our interviews today, and we'll be in touch with the uh, candidates for second and further evaluations within the next seven to 10 days. Okay, okay. Um, just one more question. Sure. Uh, what are the most common problems within the network? Probably uh, we're looking at uh, the user errors. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, the network is stable. We have a 99% uh, reliability in terms of accessibility. So it's predominantly uh, either hardware uh, breakage or uh, software malfunction, so they need to be, it's more of a, um, I'm gonna use the term more of a, a, a database administrator role uh, from a software perspective, and then the hardware is break fix. User errors. They drop coffee on the keyboard, doesn't work. <laughs> Trip on a cord, pulls the cord out, has to be rebooted. They're only end users, we're not techies. Okay. Just like myself, you know, I can use a computer, but doesn't mean I can restart it. Yes. Okay, so that's typically what we The do. other big issue that, that we find is that we have bandwidth issues. Mm -hmm. We don't have any security protocols. Uh, sorry, we have security protocols in terms of firewalls and things of that sort. What we don't have is protocols in terms of availability of the system going out to particular sites that, that consume enormous amounts of bandwidth. So for example, individuals sitting at their workstation, they're going ahead, they wanted to look at a YouTube on something, so the streaming capability coming down is eating up huge uh, amounts of cycle time. That's a traffic problem. It's a traffic problem, which, which makes things slower for the next person, next person, next person, you understand all that. So that's probably the bit, one of the biggest issues, <coughs> is how do we contain that? How do we control that? Yeah. Do we manage it? Do we not manage it? If so, how do we do? What does that mean? You know, so it's the social side of having this service available. 
vis a vis not. Mm -hmm. I have one last question of yourself. What are your career aspirations? Where do you see yourself going from this tech support position? You um, want to do it for the next 20 years. Um, I hope to uh, be a programmer and designer at the same time. I want to be it as a minor in the future. As a what? A minor, uh, being a designer. Oh, as okay, well. a designer. Okay. And uh, just to improve my knowledge for now. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yes, I, I have big aspirations of uh, just learning for now, but uh, as a career, it will come by time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you intend to do any uh, certifications, for example, A plus certification or Cisco or Microsoft certified or? Yes. Okay. Which one would you take first and why? Uh, first of all, be the the Windows because already I'm familiar with the operational systems uh, made by that Microsoft, mm -hmm. and which is required for uh, the na network uh, devices inside the operational system. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would take uh, programming languages such as C plus, Delphi, uh, Java, which uh, I'm not I not approve as much as other languages, but many people still use it. Right. So I'm hearing that, oh, should, this, is, this is coming up fast afterwards. What I'm hearing is that you want to develop more into applications down the road. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Have a good day. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.